think that they're highly intelligent dogs. Talented to the extreme, Airedales have served in both the military and in the White House. I think that they're a gas to watch them run and play, and, and just the general temperament of these guys is usually really bubbly. They're wonderful dogs. They can be very clownish, but they also can be very good guard dogs. The Airedale belongs to a feisty and energetic group known as Terriers. The Airedale is the largest of the Terriers and can weigh over 60 pounds. That's why they call him the King. Terriers were bred to chase ground animals. The Terra in Terrier is Latin for Earth, and true to their name, Airedales are tenacious hunters on any terrain. That all-around versatility eventually caught the attention of the British Army. During World War I, they bravely served as messengers to transport mail. In the 20s, they became America's most popular breed, making it all the way to the White House as the family dog of the Hardings. Laddie Boy even had his own hand-carved cabinet chair for high-level meetings. And guess how John Wayne got his nickname the Duke? Yep, an Airedale. His boyhood pet was named Little Duke. The Airedale of today is still an incredibly hardy and versatile dog with many of the same traits as its forerunner, starting with its unique non-shedding double-layered coat. They need to be what's called hand strip, which is removing the dead bristly coat. And that needs to be done about twice a year for a pet. And if you show the dog, it needs to be done on a lot more regular basis. This top wiry layer covers a soft undercoat, both of which continue to grow like hair. What they do is they actually strip the longest coat out and it regenerates the hair follicle. Originally used for biting its prey, the Airedale still has the largest teeth of all the terriers. And while not aggressive in nature, be warned, Airedale puppies are bundles of energy who will take on just about anything. And the third and most remarkable trait of the Airedale is his extreme intelligence. Very, very bright dogs, incredibly intelligent, and they learn tasks very quickly. Sit. But because of that, they also bore very quickly. Roll over. You're not doing roll over. You're just silly. Airedales can be successfully trained to do all sorts of work, like Miss Lily, a three-year-old who just completed her certification as a therapy dog with the help of trainer Missy and owner Linda. Hello, Miss Lil. So the purpose of therapy dogs really is mostly for emotional support. We look for dogs that are very stable in temperament, dogs that are very social and outgoing with strangers. Miss Lily is three years old and she's been in training for about two and three quarters years of her dog life. She seemed like a very special puppy right from the beginning. Okay, yeah. let's get her into a nice sit for me, Linda. Really sit. Good girl. Stay. Good girl. We'll just do a quick circle exercise around her. Good girl, stay. Good girl. Her final phase of training was coming through a therapy dog course which has acclimated her to all sorts of medical equipment, lots of different sort of hospital smells. Such a smart girl. Excellent. Hey, Lily, let's go to work. Today, Miss Lily will put her training to the test during one of her first visits to a nearby nursing home. Where you first walk in and you think that everything's going to go exactly as you feel it should, and she's new at this, and I was a little nervous, honestly, the first time. Hey. Yes. Hi. Miss Lily's nice first test girl. is to walk through a crowd and accept so a friendly stranger, or three in this case. Hi. Say hi. Hello. Hi. How are you all doing? When they walk in, people just want to interact with that dog. They just find them really exciting and very different to look at. Hi, baby. Then she must obey the sit command and sit politely for petting. She says, thank you. Wow. Oh, she sits for you. Yes. Not hard for Miss Lily, with so much praise raining down on her. Being able to stroke her back and petting her and even perhaps lowering their blood pressure. Good girl. Oh, good girl. So good. I knew that she was a dog that had the ability to bring happiness to others. <laughs> You're a good girl. Yes, yes. lovely. She's trying. She's done a swimmingly well job at just being able to handle all of the things that we've put at her. 
we're very proud of her progress. Linda is relieved, and a whole group of strangers are now friends. The Airedale puppy's darker coat lasts for about six months. Like most puppies, they are incredibly cute. So cute, you just might want to take one home. But before you do, make sure you'll be able to give them everything they need, starting with plenty of exercise. Adult Airedales need at least 20 minutes of brisk walking twice a day to keep fit, but they do love to free run in the woods. If they go off leash, make sure your Airedale responds well to a recall command. Because like all terriers, it's a given, these guys are gonna chase small animals. Whether you have a farm or a city dwelling, Airedales are adaptable to most environments. They're great in all environments. If you want to keep them in warm weather, you can strip their coat down tighter. And if you want to keep them in a cooler climate, you can just grow their coat out a little fuller. For training, Airedales do best with praise rather than punishment. The Airedale has few health problems and an unusually high tolerance for pain. So you may not be aware of an injury until there is serious damage. Like a lot of large breed dogs, they do tend to suffer from bone and joint issues such as hip dysplasia. Grooming the Airedale can be time consuming, but that time brings you closer <laughs> with your dog. Finally, the Airedale Terrier loves to be part of a family, but because they're strong-willed, they need to be reminded who's boss. Airedales are adaptable, have few health problems, require regular and extensive grooming, need firm training, and make a great family pet. A trained Airedale could become the best friend you ever have.